Hi everyone, for today's How To Tuesday, I'm actually letting my husband show you how to make grilled cheese. He is one of the best grilled cheese makers I know, other than Miss Virginia from college. Um, so because he makes a better grilled cheese than I do, I'm gonna let him take over. So uh, for those of you that don't know, this is my husband, Dave, and uh, go ahead. Okay, so for grilled cheese, you obviously need your bread and cheese and butter. Some people like use like mayonnaise instead of butter, but the problem with mayonnaise is it takes longer to crisp up on the outside of the bread so it doesn't become crispy till way after the cheese melts. So I don't use mayonnaise plus I don't like it. So um, we will take our two slices of bread. My husband's so tall that that's why his head is cut off. So I apologize for that. But we do have um, counter. We have um, cabinets above the counter. So um, yeah. So that's why its head's cut off. I usually put about four pieces of cheese in. This is your standard American cheese. You can soft cheeses work better because they melt faster. Provolone works good. Um, you can put ham in or pepperoni or tomatoes in if you want, but this is just a standard grilled cheese. Um, then we will take, I use a, a smaller pan for just one and it will take about that much butter. I don't really measure it, but I know it's enough to cover the bottom of the pan. my burner to medium you don't want to cook it on high or even medium high because then your bread is going to burn before your cheese melts if you want to use a harder cheese like cheddar um, I usually put the lid on as it's cooking as that will help melt the cheese before the bread gets to burn swirl my butter on a little bit Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of waiting in this video because you have to be patient for making a good grilled cheese. And I think that's my problem. I'm not patient enough when it comes to grilled cheese making. Right. So, now we're going to put our sandwich right in the middle. And then soak up some of the butter. And then, I flip it right away. So, Butter soaks into both sides of the bread before it all cooks off. That way when you flip it later, both sides have the delicious butter cooked into it. See everybody, that's a tip I didn't know. I've always just buttered my bread and then thrown it in to both sides. Again, this is why McDave makes a better grilled cheese. Now you just got after your patient. And it's going to take about two minutes on this side. I wish I had some interesting grilled cheese facts for you, but I don't. I should have prepped better and come up with some, gr some good grilled cheese facts. So I'll let Alexa tell you some grilled cheese facts. Alexa, tell me a fact about grilled cheese. Here's a fact about grilled cheese. According to Wine Spectator, grilled cheese is fairly wine friendly. It goes well with many wines, including Prosecco, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chianti, Malbec, and Zinfandel. I agree. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever so, had it. It appears nothing is playing at the moment. I, 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 I've never tried wine with my grilled cheese. Maybe we'll have to today, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. It looks like cancel. <laughs> um, so, 
So now our bread is getting toasty. I don't know how well you can hear it in the video, but you kind of hear a little bit of uh, the butter. Butter is bubbling. Yeah. We'll check my bread. It's not quite toasted, so we'll put it back. Alexa, tell me another grilled cheese fact. A random fact about cheese are hard cheeses have longer shelf life than soft cheeses and the first cheese factory was established in Switzerland in 1815. Thanks. Not about grilled cheese, but cheese in general. So that's interesting. If you are watching this and want to just fast forward through all this us waiting for the cheese to get or the bread to get toasty, feel free. But because I'm filming it on my phone, there's not a good way to um, pause it and restart it without putting it into a video editor. And honestly, I don't have a very good video editor um, that will let me put stuff together. So, like I said, if you want to skip through some of this, feel free. So now we have a uh -huh. nice golden brown color, so we will now flip it. cheese is getting a little melty on the inside. Mm, it smells so good. But I think since the butter is cooking off, it might not melt all the way. So we are going to put a lid on it after all. Yeah. If I can find the lid for that pan. I think this one's it. Nope, too small. There we go. So what does the lid do? Steam is gonna help get trapped now and help melt the cheese. And Ava, go away, please. Our younger daughter wants to be a chef, so it's very hard for her to be out of the kitchen when we're cooking because she usually likes to try to help us and see what we're doing. More of the butter has cooked off, so it's probably going to cook a little bit faster. Um, Alexa, tell me another fact about grilled cheese. Here's a fact about grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is from the United States. I think I knew that. I would have, oh, well, I would have originally thought France, but maybe Wisconsin, since, you know, they're known for cheese. Alexa, tell me another fact about grilled cheese. Here's a fact about grilled cheese. According to a recipe from Epicurious, grilled cheese are prepared with white cheddar, sourdough bread, Swiss cheese, and butter. Hmm. So a little different than we're making it for you today. But. Sourdough bread is very good for grilled cheese. I personally like potato bread the best. So that's what I'm using. And we got a little overcooked on the bottom side. So we that's okay, that happens. Some people like it toastier. Yes. So if you're looking at that grilled cheese, that top is perfect for me. The bottom, like they said, got a little toastier. Probably because I played too many grilled cheese facts and I distracted him. Um, but that would be perfect for somebody else. Um, and I think he's going to cut into it so you can see the delicious cheesiness that has occurred. All our cheese is now melty. And there you go. normally pair this with a delicious pickle and some chips. And that's all we have to make grilled cheese. Thank you for watching. Thanks.